we currently produce 80% of the global energy through fossil fuels. Now we know that by 2050 that has to be zero. But think about it, wind, solar, tidal, even a bit of nuclear isn't going to be able to replace all of that, so we need something else. Renewables are essential and we're not even really interested in a debate of fusion versus renewables. You need both, both technologies. But we don't see there's enough huge quantities of energy available from renewables alone. And now, you know, the recent events in Europe have also brought to bear like the obvious <laughs> issues about energy security for, for nation states and regions around the world. Fusion can offer the ultimate in energy security. You could literally drive enough raw material through the gates of the power plant, shut the gates and it could produce power for 40 years. And actually there's a bigger challenge. We also need to lift billions of people out of energy poverty. So the two whammies are 80% of the current energy is produced by fossil fuels, that has to go to zero by 2050, and we need to produce twice as much energy by 2050 than we do today, and therefore we need a new technology such as fusion to fill that essential gap. Because we don't have a lot of time. There's one of the few instances of our new technology coming online where there's this existential deadline hanging over the technology. That doesn't really happen when you're talking about cell phones or cars. The universe already voted. Fusion is the power source of the universe because it's what stars and our own sun work on. This essentially pr provides a the inexhaustible fuel source because it comes f from water. So, you know, you can have a controllable on-demand energy source that can provide energy carbon-free, pollution-free, more or less for the rest of our civilization. Of course you want this. The world needs fusion and it needs fusion as soon as possible. There's been some really great milestones from, from jets, so you know, you're, you're seeing five seconds of plasma and, and this record energy from it. There's absolutely momentum building. We have seen in the United States in the National Ignition Facility with laser fusion, uh, 1.3 megajoule. The Chinese have a very aggressive program with uh, their Chinese fusion experimental test reactor. JT60SA in Japan, uh, it's going to be the, the world's largest superconducting tokamak um, and that's ready for operations next year. ITER is an example which is the next step device that's being built in the south of France. It is a humongous project, the biggest physics project I've ever undertaken, so it's very, very exciting. The momentum in fusion is amazing, it's never been higher than now. The timing couldn't be better in some sense because I think we are at this inflection point. The science of fusion will work. The challenge is, can we develop the economic case for fusion? Fusion will happen. When you throw billions of dollars at it, when you throw some of the greatest minds on the planet, when you have the great entrepreneurs coming in and saying, this is the future, it is going to happen, and we just need to speed it up.